<laughs> Paige, do not take time to stare at yourself, okay? You need to just get this shit blended onto your face, girl. What are you doing? Blend, 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 blend. Oh my God, it's so strong. <laughs> Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are finally, okay, and I mean finally, finally getting in to my review, my first impressions of the Rare Beauty Collection, recently launched by none other than Little Miss Selena Gomez. I'm just honestly so excited at this point that it even showed up. And for those of you that follow me over on Instagram, you've already kind of seen me go through it, and and you know like what's going on. But the moral of the story is that I purchased this the day that it launched. I think it was last Thursday, and I was up 7:30 a.m. on the website, credit card in hand. I got everything I wanted put it in my cart, paid for next day air shipping. Don't get me wrong, I didn't expect that because I was paying for next day air that I would actually get it the next day because, you know, I, obviously that's not how that works. They have to prepare it, ship it, whatever. But uh, I also didn't expect for it to take like almost a week to ship out and then for me to not get it for like a really long time. At this point, moral of the story, I realize there are so many other videos up and, you know, first impressions and, and all the good things, but I just want you guys to know, I really appreciate your interest in this because I did ask you over on, it was either on Instagram or in a YouTube video and I can't remember which, but I did ask you guys if you would still be interested in it. The overwhelming majority of you guys did say that, you know, even though there's a lot of stuff out there on it, um, that you still wanted to see my opinion and my first impressions. First things first, if you are new here and you don't know who I am, hello. My name is Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and welcome to the channel again if you've never been here. Um, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they usually go up right around 7, 7.30ish a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. You know what, for this next part, like, let's not just, like, let's just not pretend, all right, <laughs> that like y'all don't know what I'm about to say because at this point we all do and I mean maybe if you're new here you might not but uh, here's the deal guys I need anybody watching this I need you your mothers your brothers your sisters your uncles your aunts your friends um, I need you to go follow me over on Instagram because I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers and because I need that swipe up feature okay I'm like I'm really still pushing for it in all seriousness though that is where I post a lot of my like day-to-day -day life my content whether it's you know going through what came in the mail talking about PR or just I don't know like funny funny things that happen funny stories um, I talk about a lot of that in the insta story portion and then in the feed of my Instagram as well. I post a lot of um, plus size fashion, which is more casual to business casual. I post makeup selfies, makeup IGTVs, makeup reviews, and I'm even starting to maybe potentially dabble into the vloggy side of it. We'll see how that pans out. Um, so if any of that sounds good to you, again, definitely check me out. Instagram will be linked down below. Anyways, in conclusion, okay, in conclusion, I need you to go down into the description box. Please follow me over on Instagram and on Twitter, uh, but mainly Instagram because I want the swipe up feature. Thank you. And uh, let's go ahead now, okay, now, zoom the camera in and let's get started. And also, I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it or anything, but like, Selena, girl, I curled my hair for you, okay? And I don't think you guys understand how long it has been since I curled my hair and like tried to like do all this uh, because in the summer heat, like, bitch, it just falls right out. It doesn't even exist. And I was like, I want to look so good. Like, I need Selena to know that I care. And I did my hair. All right, so hopefully my mirror is um, out of the viewfinder here as much as possible. And let's go ahead and get started into the makeup, which, by the way, can we just talk about how adorable this is? This is like the little kind of burlapy sack that it came in from the Rare Beauty website and I am just such a fan of this like the the packaging itself feels really nice like this is the kind of bag that I'll actually keep and I would put something else in because even the drawstrings on it they're just really good like the quality of this again even though I know it's not supposed to serve like a, a functional purpose um it's still really cute and just it's I don't know it's a very multi-use tool oh my god or if you wanted to flip it over you could do a craft with a kid and let them like paint on it or something oh what a cute idea oh my god I'm so, I'm so fucking crafty I don't even know so anyway Anyways, let's go ahead and get the first couple of items moving. And I mentioned this over on Instagram, but obviously if you don't follow me over there, which I don't know why you wouldn't, um, it's hurtful, quite frankly. Um, but I mentioned this over there that in regards to the primer, which she does have the Always an Optimist primer, um, I actually got this one right here as a free sample or like a free deluxe sample off of their website when I placed my order. And so this is what I'm gonna be using. Again, it's the same primer, it's just a deluxe version because going this route saved me like $26 buying the full size. And I was actually really excited that they offered this. Oh wow, that's really pretty. I'm only going to put it on one side so I can kind of compare the, the glowiness to like my normal Tatcha primer. That is beautiful, like the way that it's settling into the skin because it almost sits more like a serum than it does um, like a primer. Like it has a really beautiful silky kind of feel to it, but it sits into your skin and like the glowiness isn't overwhelming. Like it's not a super glowy primer. I would say this is more of a subtle glow, but I really like it. Like it just, I don't know, it has almost like a fresh face kind of glow, which I am really into. On the other side, I'm going to go in with my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, just so that way I have a baseline, because obviously we are testing a foundation today as well. Right, so moving on to there, let's go into the foundation, and this is their Always an Optimist, oh no it's not, that's the mist. <laughs> 
just kidding. All right, so for real this time, let's get into the foundation. This is their Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation, and it is a shake well formula, so you do need to obviously shake it before you use it, hence the little ball in there. And I picked this up in the shade 170W, which, boy, does that, that sounds, is that a little bit dark? I, I, you know, I don't know, guys, I, fuck, I suck at this sort of thing. Okay, let's just, let's just go with it, all right? Maybe I should pull it up on the website. I don't even remember what the claims are. Just for a couple little pieces of information, again, I'm not gonna get super technical about this, but uh, since how I had to pull it up anyways on the website, this is available in 48 shades, which, holy shit, okay, that is impressive for a shade launch. I know everyone has said it, but wow, okay, 48 shades right out the gate. That is fan-fucking-fantastic, Selena. Great job. And uh, down in the description here, it says that it's gonna give you a weightless, smooth glide formula that dries to a natural skin-like finish, and it has pure pigments that are packed in a serum-like base, making it easier than ever to blend and build coverage. A little goes a long way, which I definitely think is key. Something, just as a side note here, actually, Okay, I think I can make that work. Um, something to note though, when it comes to, that is so, so much page, calm the fuck down to start blending. Um, by the way, I'm blending this in with a Sigma F80. I just get so excited. Apparently not as excited about that damn truck that just drove by, did you hear that? Buddy, calm down, okay? Life is gonna continue. It's just something to note um, about this entire launch because anybody that's used to watching my channel, I like to let you know whenever anything is different. And normally when I'm doing a review or I'm gonna be testing something, I don't like to look up any information on um, the product or on you know the line in general because I like to go into it with you know just like a clear head. I don't like to have any information. And with this launch, I just want you guys to know that is 100% not the case, okay? This bitch watched all the videos Videos. Like I watched so many because I was just so excited about like the entire launch I was excited to see the products and I think more than anything for me I was just genuinely so excited to see them applied to see like the texture the consistency Because I mean going into this launch. I just feel like there wasn't much information but Anyways, just so you guys know I did you know take that step and watch several reviews also just as another fun little side note um, If you haven't been in my description box for a while, this is just you know, I'm, I'm very excited um, I actually have a working coupon coupon code with Sigma. So this is again the Sigma F80. And my coupon code, I believe it is seeking for 10% off. Real quick, um, this foundation looks so good and I just applied it with my, with a brush all over the face and that almost never happens. And I really like the way it looks. Like it does have a beautiful coverage, especially over the cheek. I think it has like a really, really nice um, satin look. I would say satin verging on dewy if I'm being honest. Um, my nose is looking really like hella shitty. <laughs> like I'm talking settling in to every single pore, every single situation on the side right there and right there. Um, so regardless of primer, it does appear to be kind of a problem. So you know what? This brings me to another thing that I picked up, which is the sponge. And this is the, hold on, I saved the box because I don't fucking, what's the name of the, it's the, the sponge. What's it called? All right, found it. This is the Liquid Touch Multitasking Sponge. And it says that it is a plush sponge with a diamond shaped tip for a precise application and customizable coverage. Now, something that I will say, okay, and I'm going to try to go in and maybe and fix my nose or something with it here because I, I really didn't expect to use the brush all over my face, but you know, I just, <laughs> things just happened, I guess. But anyways, um, with this sponge, the one thing that I, I will echo that everyone else also said is that it does have more of a spongy kind of texture to it. And it's spongy, like it's, it's really nice and squishy, like the softness is good, but it's the texture on the surface of the sponge that seems to be problematic. And it reminds me a lot of the e.l.f. sponge, which is the, do I have, I, I just had one, like I just saw one not too long ago but it's like the elf it's a purple one i'll make sure everything is linked down below of course but it's um like the complete elf something something it's purple and <laughs> i've said that three times uh but it has that same kind of surface level texture on it which for me is kind of a uh, problematic because i have enough texture this sponge does have like i said that same um texturous feel to it for that reason it wouldn't be my favorite for foundation um just because it does tend to leave like little dimples on my foundation when i use it but something that i do really enjoy about this that i could could use it for would be cream products which we'll be testing out here obviously in a second because I really like the shape and the profile of this and for some reason when I go to use like a porous type sponge like this one or the elf one um, if I use them with a cream bronzer or a cream blush I usually don't have problems but when I go to use them with foundation I do which again it's super weird but it's just the way it is all right so now we're gonna go in with concealer and guys remember how I said <laughs> I wasn't exactly sure about the foundation shade well now that I look at the concealer shade I picked out <laughs> 
<laughs> bitch was on one uh, because I didn't exactly notice that they linked up like there were 48 shades I think there's 48 concealers and 48 foundations and so kind of like how Fenty Beauty has that pair up system with their shades yeah I, I didn't exactly catch that memo when, when I placed my order so I grabbed the concealer in 110 yeah <laughs> 110N so it's gonna be a little bit light and uh, you know we're, we're just gonna roll with it and just hope for the best but uh, just so you guys know it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit a lot of bit light okay so you know what I think that you know, like, it's a little bit light, but I think I can make it work. Bitch, I've made way worse work, okay? I can make this happen. And also, I don't know that my under eyes <laughs> like this sponge at all, okay? I gotta switch it up. So, yeah, let's go ahead and try it out over here. And then we'll blend out the other side, which I reapplied because all of the uh, the concealer absorbed into this little holy sponge. So, I'm just gonna try it again with the purple one and hope for the best. And I know it's not relevant to the conversation, okay? But like, I just need you to know, if uh, your internal like house temperature is like 60, 65 degrees and you are still sweating buckets, bitch, you're not alone, okay? Because I literally could pass out. I'm just, I'm just, I'm sweating to death right now uh, because hormones, okay? <laughs> because hormones. And yeah, by the way, this looks so much better. <laughs> like blended out with this sponge. So I'm gonna go back in and um, touch up those little areas that I had already blended. Okay, so if you are someone that has like a dry under eye and you prefer a hydrating concealer, um, I think you may have just met your one true love because this looks so unbelievably hydrating under my eyes. But for me in my under eye bags, which by the way, I'm gonna really quickly here set with my Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Fair. For me with um, a concealer like this in my under eyes, it's very catch 22 because my under eyes, like they look really nice. They look very hydrated uh, just because like that plumpness, that sheen, it, it is really good looking. Then on the flip side, that same hydration is the exact same thing that makes it kind of fall into my wrinkles and ultimately crease really bad on my under eye. So for me, anytime I use a concealer that is a little bit more hydrating, it's always, you know, kind of bittersweet because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. You just have to roll the dice and see. I'm going to go ahead and just press it in to this whole forehead area all through the T-zone, just like I normally would. Again, nothing too, nothing too crazy about this. Oh, just fan your face, bitch. Yes. Oh. Let all the problems of the world fall away. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so hot right now. All right, you guys. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the blushes, which I grabbed one of each. I grabbed the Dewy Liquid Blush in the shade Happy and the Matte Liquid Blush in the shade Bliss, which is the one everybody has been raving about. I'm actually really excited to test these out because just, oh my God, just look at the color. Oh my God, this is the shade Bliss. <gasps> it looks so good. Like, please tell me that there is a more fitting color for me on this earth. Excuse me. Why can I not? Okay. That was rude. Like, come on. Do you guys see this? It is a salmon pink dream. Oh, bitch. Take me here. Take me now. I love, I love this color. Okay, so this is the matte one. Um, let's go ahead and look at the other. I think I'm just going to do like one on each side so we can kind of compare the finishes. Whoa. Oh, shit. This one's a lot brighter. Okay, this is happy. Okay, hello there, Barbie pink. What's going on with your bad self? Oh my god, these are so good. Now, something valuable that I did learn from multiple other videos is that these blushes are very, very, very rich in pigment. And so to blend them out, I think what I'll do is just grab um, a little bit maybe on like the butt of my sponge. Guys, am, is, seriously, does anybody else's not want to come out of the tube? Like, am I the only person? The other one opened just fine. And this one, it's like, it gets stuck in there. Mm, I love this color. If this wand breaks, guys, I'm going to cry because I love it so much. Anyways, I'm going to take and just put a little bit of the liquid blush on the butt of this sponge. And then from there, I will put it on my cheek. And this type of application for me is pretty standard when it comes to cream blush. Because my skin naturally is so textured that um, I do have issues like if I put that liquid straight to my skin, it tends to want to just like stick and grab really weird. Oh my god, that color is just everything. Okay, I, sw I swear to you, I'm gonna cry. Do you want to see me cry? Do you want to see a 30-year-old cry about blush? Okay, so I love that I was prepared for, like, <laughs> the immense amount of pigmentation. And then I just built it up, and I almost went a little too far, okay? We need to, like, blend this out. Um, oh, dear sweet baby Jesus, Paige. <laughs> dial it back. Dial it back. Why did I think I need... Well, I always need more, but, like, why did I add more? I knew, I knew what I was getting into. <gasps> oh, that's so beautiful, though. Like, that color is everything. Oh yeah, that's good. That's beautiful. Now I'm going to do the other side the exact same way here with the um, other sponge that I have, but this side I'm going to go, oh <laughs> shit. Um, but this side, uh, yeah, I, I was just about to say I'm going to use a lot less, which I did use a lot less and oh, <laughs> Paige, do not take time to stare at yourself. Okay. You need to just get this shit blended onto your face, girl. What are you doing? I love that. I just take time and I'm like, Paige, just look at yourself. That'll solve it. It's not going to solve anything that you need to blend, 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 blend. 
oh my god it's so strong by the way i would just like to interject um if you can get past my shit ass application that i just did of this blush right here oh my god um, oh that's so much better okay just going over top of it with a teeny tiny drop of foundation and this foundation brush and that's making a big difference like that that is at least you know something i can work with I just want you guys to know the blushes themselves are actually really really pretty like i don't i don't have any issues with, with the actual product itself more so just how intense it is um and you know going into it next time i would obviously know <laughs> maybe maybe just calm it down even a little bit more also really quick i'm gonna go through and even out both sides here in a second but look at these swatches this one right here is obviously the matte one and it has dried completely matte versus this beautiful like dewy sheen on the dewy one wow like the finishes on those are such a stark difference it's actually bizarre how, how different they are like I'm, I'm really impressed just a couple of things i want to mention number one okay if you see me screwing around with my eyes if you see the outer corners looking kind of red kind of weird because they repel makeup right now it's allergies my eyes are just they're super watery anyways that's just thing number one okay that's just the tip of the iceberg because i also want you to know i am the <laughs> shittiest youtuber today because i have just gotten all of this done okay i even out the blushes i'm like oh my god it's looking so good like i have my skin somewhat back to normal okay things are happening and then i just look over and realize that i also picked up this freaking liquid Liquid illuminator right here and did I go through already and like set under the eyes and kind of carry it back a little well yes yes I did um so this is gonna be a little bit complicated but we're still gonna play around with it either way don't don't get it twisted bitch because we are here and we are playing with this line Ooh, okay it's a very thin kind of oh god that's beautiful very thin kind of serum -y consistency um which for me usually <laughs> just as a fun fact for me that that type of texture usually repels foundation but you know what that's okay we're still gonna do it so let's grab <laughs> why are we still gonna do it because you know it's just this is just what we do when we test things out on this channel. Apply it. I think I'll do this side first and get it worked in. And I am going to blend and try to work a little bit quicker to avoid as much of that settling as possible. Oh God, that is a beautiful reflect. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with that because yes, it is moving my foundation a little bit. Like it's, it's moving it a freckle, but it's not lifting it, like completely stripping the area. I'm going to try to build up like a little spot of it here, like a really intense highlight just to see how much I can build. Wow. Oh shit. That actually, that actually built up nice. Oh shit. That's gorgeous. Holy hell's bells, Loretta. Okay, that's gorgeous. Hell's bells, Loretta. How old am I? Old enough for some hee-haw, okay? Old enough. Okay, so I'm gonna move on, I swear. I'm like, I promise I won't be stuck here forever, but I just wanna make one final note, and that is that if you are someone that you're into like a creamier kind of consistency, you like this um, this serum consistency even for a highlight, um, I want you to know this is a very, very workable highlight, whether you are looking for like a natural kind of glow, you know, you can work it out for that, or you can really build it up like I did and get a lot more intensity out of it, and for the texture that this has and the thinness of it and just the, the really work lightweight feel that this kind of carries it's just very impressive to me overall like as a product because I feel like it has so many attributes that shouldn't work well together and that really really shouldn't work for me and they are working very well now I'm gonna move in to powdering the face and I need to use my bronzer and the texture of this you guys know if you've seen my other foundation reviews I like to kind of stop and do a touch test and I'm actually impressed this foundation does dry down pretty nicely like for for what it is and for that texture being so lightweight it dries down very comfortable and if you are someone that you don't like to set your face or you like to set it with a more um, light like a finishing powder an hourglass ambient something like that I do I do think this would be a candidate for that because it does feel very very nice again it gives a nice lightweight set and very much so like it was described like a skin kind of finish to it very skin like which I, I do appreciate it just it's very comfortable and you don't like honestly you don't even feel it which is great now for me I'm gonna be going in with the it cosmetics celebration foundation illumination powder in the shade light really quick here let's just Oh god, I gotta get this crusty shit off my lips, okay? Because it is not working out. Oh my god, I can't stand like that feeling of like balled up or pilled up product on my lips. Oh god. It drives me crazy. All right, so I'm going ahead as well and adding the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade medium. And I did go ahead, obviously, as I'm sure you guys noticed, and I moved the camera out because the sun right now is awful and my lighting in here is really, really bad. So I feel like the, like the up close was just getting too dark. And I don't want you guys to lose like the overall picture on the face. So I still want to give a little compliment to those blushes because you can see them, but they're not like super pronounced. And I want to give them just a little, you know, like a little reinforcement. And so I'm just going to grab this 
is my Lunar Beauty blush palette. This is Manny's palette, and I, I freaking love this thing, which, by the way, it is back in stock last I saw, both on his website, and I want to say it's available on Beauty Bay as well, if, if I think. I'll, I'll link it down below either way, um, but I absolutely love this palette, and it actually has some complementing colors on here that would match really well with what I have going on, and so I'm going to grab the shade Twilight, which is kind of like a corally pink, and I'm actually going to mix it with the shade Pink Moon, and then I'm going to add in just a tiny bit of Soleil, which has some shimmer in it, and I think mixing all three of those together, um, again, just a teeny tiny little bit, I think it's really going to add just a little bit of the support that I need. All right, you guys, so it is officially time to move on to brows, and I picked up the Brow Harmony Pencil and Gel, and it's, it's a little two-in-one product here, and this is in the shade Rich Taupe. Let's go ahead and give it a little swatch. It is a teardrop shape, which is not my favorite. Um, I prefer the Precisely My Brow from Benefit. It has like that nice, you know, just precise little tip on it, but ooh, that is a really good color for me, actually. That, oh, oh God, <laughs> dare I say it's like my shade? Okay, um, let's go ahead now. I'm gonna flip it over, take a look at this side. Okay, the gel looks a lot, oh, wow, the gel is a lot lighter. Um, okay, this is the gel right here. Well, you know, maybe maybe it's not that much lighter. I'm just, maybe I'm just dramatic. I mean, who would have seen that coming? Absolutely not, definitely not me. No way, no how. Thank you, mister. Okay, so problem number one, and I bitch about this with every single product that doesn't have a spoolie, um, it, it doesn't have a spoolie, and that is a problem for me. I need spoolies. I need to be able to work things through. I need to really be able to see what I am, you know, working with over here. Um, especially, ooh, the texture of this is, uh, like, the or the uh, viscosity of it. It's a lot thicker than what I expected. For some reason, I thought it would, like, go in a little bit thinner into my brows. And this is definitely on the thicker side. Okay, like, I'm, and don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at it yet. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm like, no, I'm not mad at it yet, okay? Like, I'm not dramatic or anything. God, you guys, I need to get a fresh piece of toilet paper in here stat. This one is like, <laughs> the shit kicked out of it for, like, look, look at this. You see this little wad that I'm using? Oh my God, I need fresh toilet paper. Can you spam me some toilet paper, sir? Oh my God, I, don't, I just realized how bad that sounded. I mean, I do need a fresh piece of toilet paper, but it's for my eyeballs, not for my ass, okay? Don't get it twisted, don't get it twisted. Just get it in my eye, because they're watering, okay? Thank you. All right, so now I'm just going in, adding a little bit of brow gel, and I definitely don't love this color. I just prefer to go a little little bit darker uh, personally with my brow gel. That's just personal preference. So now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the uh, Rare Concealer here. And I'm just going to try to clean up my brows a little bit. Maybe that'll be like the finishing touch that they need. And I'm just going to go in through the uh, crease here with a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, same one that I already used. All right, so at this point, we're just going to go in with a little bit of the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. And it says that this is a glow-boosting mist that hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes the skin. I'm actually excited to go in with this because I used it over on Instagram. Like, I just sprayed a light little mist of it, and the smell was, like, so refreshing. And the mist, like, listen to that. Oh, it's so nice. It's very, very light. I actually really like the mister on this because it's the perfect kind where you do get that light misting, but you can still feel it on your skin. So like I can actually feel it kind of press my layers together and really just meld all of the makeup into my skin. And that is something like in today's day and age, you know, with everybody trying to get the ultra fine mist here and there and da da da. I just, I feel like it's really hard to find that perfect balance where you can still feel it. And for me, like I'm a setting spray lover. You guys know this about me. And I really need to be able to like feel the set and kind of feel the dampness kind of coming onto my skin and just again really pressing those layers in and I really like that about this and then just like with the blush I don't need a lot of highlight because obviously I still have some from the liquid version and it is still coming through but I want to give just a little something to kind of reinforce that and make it pop a little extra and I'm actually by the way I'm really impressed with how nicely that's like it really is <laughs> transcending all the layers of powder I put on top of it and it does look really really pretty that's really nice anyways I want to go in with a little bit of this I've been using it a lot lately and and that would be the Hourglass Metallic Strobe Lighting. I like to stick kind of in the middle and then dip over into the pink, just a freckle here. And I'm gonna take this and apply it with my Refer 05 brush. It's just a really nice kind of fluffy brush. The reason that I like this brush specifically, um, especially when I'm going in for an application like this, is because it's so nice and light and fluffy. And it helps me, instead of getting like a super intense, like a targeted, you know, highlight that's just very overwhelming, this brush is so domed and fluffy and perfect that it just 
just kind of like buffs the highlight into my skin. Of course, per usual, y'all know me, I gotta highlight the rest of the face, get that cupid's bow, the nose, the hashtag chalupa chin, bitch, yes, get her greasy, get her living her best life. Also, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that same highlight mixture, I'm popping it on the inner corner and in like the center of the mobile lid right here and just kind of taking it upward. And then of course, I'll throw a little bit in the brow bone as well. So really quick for mascara, I'm just gonna go in and layer up a little bit of my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And I think I'm just gonna add after that a little bit maybe of the uh, L'Oreal Age Perfect. All right, you guys, so we are officially down to the last two products, both of which are obviously the lips. And I did pick up one of each. This is the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm. And then the other one is the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream, which I have this one in the shade Fearless, and then the balm in the shade Thankful. And I do wanna play around, well, you know what? Maybe we'll layer them both a little bit. Um, I do love this packaging, by the way. This is the lip balm, of course. And as I mentioned, again, I think I played with this one over on Instagram. This does have with it a fair amount of opacity, which I think is very impressive. And I do wanna see, like I said, just really quick here, how this one look oh wow that's really pretty actually you know what i would be hard pressed to not just call that a lipstick <laughs> like that looks really really nice super duper comfortable again it's the kind of formula that is going to move around it won't last super long but anyways that is the first option which i didn't really <laughs> plan on it looking like this much like a lipstick uh, but let's go ahead and i'm gonna remove that and try on the next one because i've heard a lot of good things about the uh the lip creams it says this is a whipped lip cream that delivers comfortable one stroke color with a vivid velvety finish oh my god this color <gasps> this color is just everything okay let's go ahead and do a little swipe of it oh I like that it has like a blurry kind of texture to it super duper pretty can you guys tell that I'm ready for fall like look at these colors I'm like I'm not going with anything bright bitch I want all the fall vibes I want the depth and the sultry cuteness what is this hair doing stop it right now you're ruining my depth and my sultry sophistications oh okay hmm <sighs> This is on this tech fuck dude. This texture is so bizarre in the best possible way. Like dare I say that this is one of the best and most interesting lip products I have ever tried. You guys know, all right? And this is like no surprise again if you've been here for a while, but I am so, so sensitive to like matte liquid lipsticks, just to like matte textures in general, because the dry down on me, I'm just, I'm so sensitive to like that crinkly kind of feeling. And this is so unbelievably comfortable on your lips. Like it's matte and it looks matte. And I mean, you can feel that it's matte, but you can't feel it in a sense of like, <clears throat> like shriveled up little butthole lip, like <laughs> that, that kind of dry down this is like such a light blurring truly a whipped consistency but with a matte texture but very comfortable like, I can't even describe it it's just so comfortable and it's so beautiful I'm like I'm oh my god I think I'm gonna go on tonight and buy every other color of this because it is so nice and what the fuck is this hair still doing stop it but anyways you guys with that we are officially done with the full face and I do want to give you kind of my my final thoughts here I want to run through a few of these products and give you just a couple more things that I'm noticing and before we get into the up close on the face and how things are looking because I mean <laughs> from from this far away I think everything looks kind of perfect and fantastic but that is one of the reasons that I like to do up close and I mean like very very up close for you guys because especially with this one and I'm just going to give you a warning I, I think it's called trypophobia but if you have an issue with like the little holes seeing pores anything like that I just want to give you a fair warning because this foundation on my nose um, I do zoom you in and I try to really show it I'm not sure how good it looks or if it's like super you know defined or anything yet because I haven't watched the footage but I want you guys to know just going into it if that's something that freaks you out obviously this might not be your thing you might want to skip ahead a little but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the up close on the screen for you guys that way you can see how everything is looking and I think for me that is kind of where I want to start with this foundation and just like the overall complexion because this foundation as a whole like I think everything looks really beautiful and the way that it settles into the cheeks does look very very nice like it has a beautiful like I said before a very beautiful skin like finish the problem I keep having is like I said before the nose area it just the pores in in there are just so egregious with this foundation and there's like this weird settling thing now much to its credit like I said the nose doesn't look the best but I do think in the up close and kind of you know moving it in and out I think you guys can really see that you know the rest of the face like I said the cheeks look good and even though it's settling into the cracks around my nose it's not super settled out yet around my mouth or on my forehead which I think is definitely you know something to to consider I mean yeah you know okay maybe it's a little bit there on my forehead but again it's not that bad if you're someone like me and this whole nose situation settling into pores you know that that whole situation um if that happens to you the way that I plan to use this foundation going forward and how I'm actually going to be testing it out 
out next, um, which obviously I'll keep you guys updated, whether it's in a video, on Instagram, stay tuned, because I will be talking about it as I'm testing it. But I actually think that this foundation would be a beautiful candidate for the Scott Barnes method, because for those of you that aren't familiar, the Scott Barnes method is actually where you take the concealer and you kind of go like under your eyes, through the T-zone. I use a little bit like on my jawline. But ultimately, you're just using and kind of blending out more concealer in those areas and then filling in with your foundation on like the other, you know, kind of planes of your face. I just feel like this foundation would be a perfect candidate for that because it does have that really nice kind of skin-like effect going for it. It happens to look the best on those areas where, again, in the Scott Barnes method, you are more so layering your concealer and kind of playing with it. So I think for me, that's kind of the direction that I'll be heading in with this. Um, again, it's not that it's a bad foundation or anything because I do think it has beautiful qualities. I think that it looks beautiful. The skin-like finish is very, very nice. It's actually very workable. It does build. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's a really nice foundation. It just, for me, right through here, it's not the best. Now, with the concealer, the only thing that I want to add is that I am actually very impressed, especially up under my eyes right here, because with the hydration that kind of came along with this concealer, I told you guys, like, look, it's going to be kind of a, you know, shit show. I'm not really sure which way it's going to go. And I am very impressed because it has been under here now. I think I've been filming for two and a half, three-ish hours because it's just, it's been a long day, okay? My eyes won't stop watering. It's a whole thing. But I have been filming this entire time and it still has yet to crease on my under eye area. And I'm not having any issues with it anywhere else. Like forehead, jawline, it's not breaking apart or getting really weird. And then one thing that struck me, and I don't know if today is just like that lucky day or not, but uh, my brows look fantastic using that brow pencil. And, you know, again, it could just be like a you got lucky, you're having a good brow day kind of situation. But like, I just think they look so nice and they have this beautiful, like light richness to them. Like the color is definitely working. The brow hairs are nice and feathered and they're actually staying put really well too, which I really, really appreciate. And a couple things I want to mention and then I promise I'm done. I know, like I said, I know these videos have already, you know, said a lot, but I do want to make sure that, because this, these two things are something that's very important to like me on a personal level. Um, and I don't know how I didn't mention this one going through, but as I'm sure you noticed, and you know, like I said, you've probably heard, but uh, the foundation, the concealer, the illuminator, a lot of these products, you know, the blush, all of them, they have like this kind of weird, it looks like a weird little doohickey or a weird little ball on top right here. And this packaging was actually designed. So it's, it, this is created packaging. It's not stock packaging. And Selena designed these to my understanding to help people um, who have like uh, rheumatoid arthritis, or I think she has lupus, but people with ailments that make it difficult for them to like use and maneuver their hands, their joints, you know, this whole thing. Um, she, she created this so that way they would have an easier time, you know, accessing the packaging. As someone who personally does suffer from several autoimmune diseases, arthritis being one of them, um, and just like issues in general, like there are days I wake up and I can't move my hands. I can't hardly like literally to do this some mornings. It's almost impossible. Uh, hell, hell, just the other day, I actually spilled coffee all over myself because I couldn't hold my coffee cup. Like I went to pick it up and my hands just weren't having it. And I spilled coffee, really, really, really fucking hot coffee, might I add, all the way down my front. And I just think it goes to show like this for me, this attention to detail and her being willing as a brand new company to spend the money on this kind of packaging. For me, it just says a lot about the intent and the focus because I think it's really easy, you know, when we're looking at foundations and items and whatever, like just things that we use in our everyday life, whether they're cosmetics or not, I just think it's really easy to kind of get in this lane and just go with it. And, you know, you forget that there are those other people or those other ailments even exist and how, you know, we take the ability to open something or to take a pump on a foundation and to pump it. We take that action for granted. Obviously not saying that for like some people, this wouldn't be difficult. I'm not saying that, but I just think that the attention to it and the thought behind it was really beautiful. And as someone who has that problem, like I, truthfully, when I like read about it and I heard about it, it kind of brought tears to my eyes because it isn't very often that people like me or people, I, sh and I shouldn't even say me because this isn't about me and I don't want it to come across like that. But when you are like the person or the person that has those ailments, I guess I'll say, um, and you struggle with that kind of stuff, it is really difficult to feel like you, know, like, you know, the whole world is like advancing and they can do things all around you. And it just, I don't know, there was something so heartwarming about the gesture. Like I said, it's not to say that it solves everything, but it's just the gesture and the good faith that's there. I just, I don't know, on, on a personal level, I really did appreciate that. So I wanted to make sure that I mentioned it. And then the second thing I wanted to mention, which again, I know a lot of you are probably aware of, but I wanted to talk for a second about the Rare Impact Fund. Ultimately, the goal, just to kind of cut to the chase here, is that they have a Rare Impact Fund, and the goal is to raise $100 million over the next 10 years to help address the gaps in mental health services in underserved communities. And it says, from the first Rare Beauty product sold onward, 1% of all sales, as well as funds raised from partners, will be dedicated to the Rare Impact Fund that aims to increase access to mental health resources. And further up,
drop in the description here, it talks about how um, by celebrating our uniqueness and supporting each other, we aim to reduce the stigma associated with talking about mental health and to reduce the feelings of loneliness. I know a lot of us have like this, again, this is not just a me thing and I, I don't even like saying it like that because I don't want it to be like, oh, it's all about Paige, but I think it, it's just when you are there or you've been there, like it's easier to kind of appreciate it that much more because for so long, you know, there are other causes in the beauty realm and just like in spaces in general, but I think that the fact that she's taking on this initiative and like being so adamant about it, like from the very beginning, like this is not an afterthought. This isn't something we're addressing later on. We're not doing it later once we've made money, once we've satisfied our investors or once we've, you know, hit this quota, whatever, whatever. This isn't about that. This is like from the very beginning, from the first product on, like this is um, an initiative that matters to us. And I really, I don't, I don't know, just on like a personal level, I really appreciate it. And I also feel positive, you guys, that I need to stop talking. So I'm going to go. <laughs> Thank you guys all so, so much for watching. Um, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Did you like it? What do you think? Was this kind of fun? Um, is there anything from the collection that you picked up that you want to pick up that you think is worth it is not? Or did you try something you didn't like? Um, let me know just all of your thoughts and opinions down below. I would love to hear from you. Of course, like I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and be sure to go down and follow me over on Instagram. I would greatly appreciate all of the above. And that is it, you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I wanna be the very best Like no one ever was Pokemon! Oh, that's so close. Holy shit. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Diet coconut. With light eyes, bitch. Don't get it twisted. That way, you know, you can come my friend eat something. Oh my god, my eyes will not stop watering, bitch. Oh, quit it right now. I command you, the devils of Satan that you be.